Hi, I'm T Sava. I'm in the GE 13 countdown. The ancient Indian astrology plays a very crucial role when it comes to election. In India, before a, calend a candidate is chosen, his or her date of birth is taken into analysis before the party concerned chooses the candidate to stand for elections. The same influence, although ancient and practiced in India, has now come to the shores of Malaysia. And with me in the studio today is my master himself, Master Yuraj Sauma, a seventh generation astrologer and a Vashu Shastra expert, who has been brought in to Malaysia this week in the invitation of by some politicians to check what would be their faith in this coming general election. Welcome, Master. Straight away, I'd like to ask you the question, May 5th, what would it be like astrologically in terms of general elections in Malaysia? Uh, actually, from April 14th until May 15th, this 30 days is a very auspicious days according to the planetary position. Among the, the solar uh, family, the sun is the most important planet he is in the very, very strong position in particular in 30 days. Again, the 5th of May is a very, very uh, auspicious day because uh, the, uh, along with the sun, the other three planets also uh, together with the sun, that's a very auspicious thing. Which are the planets, the three planets? Uh, yeah. Okay, Mars and Venus and Mercury and the dragon planet Ketu. What will be the effects of these three planets on people? on voters on that particular day, do you think? These particular 30 days, uh, the 14th to, uh, 14th April to May 15th, these particular 30 days, the emotion of the people slightly be higher because of the sun influence. Meaning people will be more happy, more cheerful? Mixed. Mixed? Yes. All right, my next question is, of course, people are waiting to know, have you done an analysis on our prime ministers Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak's uh, date of birth, and of course our opposition leaders, uh, Dato Anwar Ibrahim's date of birth. What is your analysis show as to how this election will favor, how is it swing, which, who is having the stronger planet in their birth chart and so on? Uh, it's a very good question. Uh, generally, when you want to predict astrology, uh, you should uh, have uh, the proper the birth details. That means the date of birth, time of birth, and place of birth. The, you know, the genuine information, if you get, then only you can, uh, the perfect result we can expect from the astrology. In our case, I got only the date of birth of the two leaders. Uh, the mainly, uh, for the present prime minister, uh, the sign is moon sign. Uh, Indian astrology based on the moon sign, Western astrology based on the sun sign. Indian as per the Indian astrology, the moon sign is Scorpio. Okay, uh, from 31st May onwards, the one-year period, the Scorpio going to be the uh, very, uh, very, very comfortable period. So I believe, based on that planetary position and all, so definitely this particular election definitely is going to gain a lot of things. Meaning that means it's very positive for him. Positive. positive. The planets positive. are in a very favorable yes. position for in his birth chart. Yes. All right. Uh, what about uh, the opposition leader? What do you think of his birth chart based on your reading? According to my uh, uh, astrology reading based on the moon sign, his moon sign is Aries. The equivalent to, equivalent to, you know, powerful. But at the same time, some other planets are not such powerful, particular this year. Meaning he's got a weaker, a weaker, uh, weaker position yes. planetary-wise compared to compared to the prime minister uh, astrology. Prime minister. Yes. All right. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll come back again. Back. 
Uh, with me is Master Yuvraj Sama, a renowned Indian astrologer from Chennai, India. Master, earlier you said a very interesting point about uh, the influence of the planets on the two uh, party leaders, yeah? And the way you have said it, that it's like favoring the current prime minister, that people feel good factor and so on. Whereas in the case of the opposition leader, the planet positions are rather weak, you say. How much of this can we really follow or believe? How accurate is Indian astrology in your views? Yeah. Uh, this is not a question about Indian astrology or Western astrology. All the human beings influenced by the nine planets, whether you believe or not. But each second, you are governed by the planets. Okay, So they, all the astrologers, the prediction, all based on your particular data about their planetary momentation, whether uh, every individual have a good and bad, good and bad, it's like a cycle. When uh, any important activities, when you choose in the, a particular auspicious date, then definitely you'll have a positive result. So everything is astrology. Everything is astrology. So how many percent would you say that uh, your forecast on the coming general election, how accurate will it be? You'd like to know. Would you? Again, I'm followed only by the moon sign. I didn't see uh, the proper astrology. Maximum, the moon sign prediction, maximum you can expect the result above 60 percentage. Above 60 percent? Yes. Yeah. So you are here in this visit to visit some politicians. Yeah? Yeah. I know it's confidential, uh, but we'd like you to share with us. Uh, some politicians have seen you with their astrology. Uh, what are your views on their faith, actually? I visited uh, two politicians here, the high poor, high level of people. Uh, one is um, so very positive, the another one is uh, slightly, you know, uh, uh, you know, moderate level only. I suggested uh, the frank opinion about the astrology. Uh, Do you think that people uh, making decisions in their life, uh, they should incorporate this ancient knowledge in their decision making so that they can be very accurate? What's your views on that? Definitely, it is not now. It is uh, from the traditional culture, uh, from the king's time itself. The, any, uh, you know, any uh, important uh, decision uh, uh, you know, happens in the country, definitely the ruler uh, will get advice from the, you know, the ancient knowledge people. Thank you so much, uh, Master, for coming and sharing your views and thoughts on uh, Indian astrology. Well, you've given us some uh, overview, a very good forecast as to how the planets will influence the waters in the coming general election in Malaysia. Well, we will know how accurate is your prediction on May 5th when the results are out. Once again, thank you and namaste to you for coming to with us. And until then, we meet again, uh, uh, listeners and uh, viewers. Hopefully, you follow what Master has predicted and let's match with the re election results on May 5th. Thank you.